Hello everybody and welcome back to another video by Blissful Techno Health. Today I'm doing an updated version of my older video on how to install programs and games on your secondary hard drive. Now I'm going to try to get straight to the point and not BS at all, so let's just go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so there are a couple things that you do need to understand first that we're going to cover, especially if you're kind of new with this. So if you come to File Explorer, come over to this PC, you're going to get a list of all the hard drives in your computer. Now, typically the reason you want to know how to install a game or a program on a secondary hard drive is because you bought a computer that has a small solid state hard drive for your C drive and like a one or two terabyte for your secondary drive. It's very common to buy a gaming computer or some sort of a computer that has that set up. Now, a lot of times these smaller C drives that you're going to get for your main hard drives are like 120 gig or especially if you're on a laptop or 240 gig, 250 gig, whatever. That's not a lot of room, especially with the games nowadays. A lot of them are getting really big and you got to have room for them. Those little hard drives don't cut it. You can maybe fit one or two on there or three, but then you're out of space. Your C drive is always your primary hard drive. That's where Windows and everything is installed. You do not want to fill that up. If you do, your computer is going to run slow and possibly be unstable. So you don't want to fill it up. Always leave space available on that C drive. Now you can see here, I've got my C drive which is a one terabyte, which is good, but if it's not, let's say it's a 120, I have a problem. And I've got this two terabyte here backup and another backup that's four terabyte, okay? Let's say I wanna install my games on this F drive because it has a lot of room available on it. Now, do note, if I install a game and it's gonna run on one of these secondary hard drives and it's not a solid state hard drive, it's a regular 7200 RPM drive, it is going to run slower than if it was installed on a solid state drive. So bear that in mind. Granted, if you don't have any room, it's a, at least you can play the game at all. Yeah, it's running a little slower than it would be if it was on your solid state, but if you don't have any room on your solid state, hey, at least you can still play your game, right? <clears throat> okay, regardless, this video is for you if you need to install it on a secondary drive. So, first thing we're gonna look at is Steam, okay? Let's go ahead and pull up Steam. Okay, let's say I wanna install Deepest Sword and I want it on that secondary drive, that F drive, not my C drive. Steam, real easy. All you do is click on install. You can see, choose location for install. Click on that, and it's gonna show you your other drives available, okay? I have a Steam library here we can use. If there isn't one under the F drive, it's gonna ask you to create one, okay? So you can just say, yo, install under the F colon, which is your F drive, Steam library, not the C drive. You can tell by default, it has it set under C program files Steam. Click here, select the secondary hard drive that you want to install it to, hit next, boom, away you go. Follow the prompts, install the game, it's gonna to go to that secondary hard drive, leaving space available on your C drive. That's how it is for pretty much everything on Steam to my knowledge. Anytime you go to install a game, it's gonna bring you up to that prompt. Just click down, click the drive you want to install it to. Super easy, I hope that makes sense. Epic Games, very similar process. Let's say I wanna install Costume Quest 2. Install. Choose Install Location. Oh, well, we wanna browse because we don't want it to be on the C drive. We want it to be on our F drive. So you can click on Browse, come down here, click on the drive you wanna install it on. You can create a new folder and call it whatever you, know, you want to what okay that's really weird <laughs> anyways you get the point install it on your secondary drive it's the same for all of these let's say uh, let's say magic gathering install okay same thing browse find that drive on the left select your new location your new folder you want to install it on if you want to create a new one you can do that as well okay real easy with Steam and with the Epic Games launcher. Every game, every launcher is going to be a little different. You just have to find that spot where it says choose the file location or the file path that you're going to install the game on. Every game theoretically should have a spot where it comes up and asks you for that. The only game that I've seen that doesn't is Valorant and I have created a video on that one and it was bizarre when I was installing Valorant. It was really weird and the video seems to help most people. So go check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. Other than that, they should always ask you for a location. You just change that location. 
and away you go. You guys, I hope this was cut and dry enough for you. I hope it was to the point enough for you. If you have any questions, shoot me a comment down below. And uh, be sure to like this video so we can move it up in the algorithm and help more people. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future content. And uh, I'll check you guys out next time. Peace.